It's fine morning to you, Diesel. Oh, it's fine. Well, it's not very nice every time. I guess it's not too much of a fine morning, but it's a morning, so top of the morning to you anyway. I'm wearing my new jeans today. Can you see them? Feeling good. Oh. So we're gonna walk the weasel. We're gonna send in some papers, the border. Well, I think it's time to go. We've had our breakfast, cleaned ourselves up, gotten ready, got everything done that we need to get done. Checked the truck out, made sure it was good to roll, make sure it was all safe and all the fluids were full. And tires were full of air and had good tread and all that stuff. I think it's time to go. Diesel, what do you think? I think it's time to go. I think we should go too, man. So it's uh, 1,151 kilometers to destination. I should be able to get there today. Because once I get into Canada, we're crossing at Sarnia, Ontario. Welcome to Sarnia. Why did they name it Sarnia? Did they name it after Narnia or did Narnia name Narnia after Sarnia? Maybe Sarnia is Narnia. In the real world, they just don't want us to know. It's a conspiracy. That's where we're crossing into Canada anyways. Uh, Port Huron is the American side in Michigan. And we're gonna cross into Canada and then we get an extra two hours to drive, right? Because Canada lets us drive 13. So Diesel, I know we need to walk you. <laughs> kind of cute over there. That family there, uh, that driver's wife just came, I'm assuming it's his wife, just came to meet him here at the rest area and uh, she brought the kids along and uh, they have a little boy. It's probably, I don't know, he's a little guy, yeah, whatever. He's uh, probably like three or four and uh, he's so like, in awe of his daddy's truck. I remember being that kid. I remember being just like that. His dad just went and put him in the driver's seat and the kid had the biggest smile on his face. So cute. <laughs> I remember being that kid. Oh, I just thought I was driving the biggest monster truck because I was sitting in daddy's driver's seat. <laughs> That's a memory he probably will never forget. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so uh, let's get out there. It's not really raining that hard anymore. Let's get out there and walk the weasel before it starts raining again. Just walking the weasel. Walking the weasel. Every day we're just walking the weasel. Come on, Diesel, we're gonna go further over here yet. We're gonna go to the bush over there. No, no, not that post. That's a very nice post though, but not for you. Nope, nope, not that tree either. Nope. <laughs> I'm in control. Well, there's like a forest over there. We're gonna go visit the forest instead. Diesel, you wanna go to the forest? Let's go to the forest. He's like, I just need a pole to... Okay. Why do you keep pulling me away from all of them? You know what? We're gonna go find a nice tree back there. How about that? How about that? Oh no. Under that picnic table, straight ahead. See that little black blob? Shh. Don't tell Diesel. That's a cat. Did you just say cat? Let's go say hello. This is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> Diesel hates cats. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, dip, 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 dip. oh, oh, there you go, Diesel. <laughs> He's just. <sighs> so, one thing I gotta watch out for if there's any cats around Diesel is a completely typical dog, and he likes to chase cats. I don't know what he would do with them if he'd ever catch them. The only one he ever caught scratched his nose. <laughs> And then he went on a break. He went on strike. He didn't chase cats for a while. Isn't this a beautiful park? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Massive trees. I would let Diesel run through here, but it's a little close to the rest area there. It's a little busy right now. And I just saw a squirrel run up this big tree. Plus there's the cat. Who knows where the cat went. You can guarantee though, the cat's watching us. It's out there. Cats are smart. I've always thought maybe I should get a cat, you know? 
It's not too feminine of an animal. You can still be masculine and have a masculine cat. I was thinking of getting a big fat cat. Just a big fat one. Or something like that. Or just a big massive cat. Because Diesel, with another dog, just gets in trouble. That's all he does is trouble, trouble, trouble. But with a cat, he's lived with cats before. And at first, yeah, they chase each other around like crazy and then they get used to each other. And then they're friends, but they don't get into trouble, right? Because the cat is smart. She's not gonna egg Diesel on, because, I don't know, you know how cats, cats are, anyways. Now, what would you guys think of that if I would have a cat? Would that be weird? Would that be weird for a, a single guy to have a dog and a cat? It's not like I'd have just a cat. I mean, that's sort of sending a weird message to the world, right? You can just have a single guy with a cat. Depends who you are, though. I know a lot of single guys who have cats. Perfectly comfortable in their masculinity. I don't know. I'm not saying I would do it, but... We're looking for those squirrels that ran up this ginormous tree. That is a big tree. Wow. Mine? Well, you know us. We always like an adventure. So we're gonna go and explore the bush. Diesel, be very, very quiet. We're hunting for squirrels. Come on, Diesel. Come on, man. Yeah, let's go. Do you see him anywhere? Do you see him? Who do you see? I don't see him anywhere. I know there's one here. He just ran up here and they're flying around in the trees. Oh well. I always end up in the bush whenever I stop somewhere. But this to me, I feel natural here. I don't know, it's just, it feels good to be out in nature. Mm. Suck in that natural air. Then again, all air is natural. I mean, what air do you know of that's not natural? <laughs> we observe the weasel in his natural habitat. What does he see? No one knows. So all social media is the same. I mean, Facebook is with text and pictures. Twitter, same thing, text and pictures. Instagram is just pictures. And YouTube is just video. I mean, you can also share video on social media like Facebook too. I think you can share videos on Twitter, right? But Facebook is the biggest social media. And I know everybody throughout their journeys, through whatever they do, post regularly on Facebook. I'm pretty sure of it, unless you don't have a Facebook. Maybe you post regularly on Twitter. You know, like, hey, this is where I am. Took a picture. Hey, this is what I saw today. It's, you know, it's social media. It's a huge thing out here. I choose to just show everybody in a video. I always found it to be a little bit more personal, a little bit more a good memory, right? So that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm pretty much just sharing a giant status on Facebook, except I share it on YouTube of my whole day. Instead of posting every, like, two hours, here I am doing this, doing that, doing this, like some people do. <laughs> I just make one giant status. This is what I did today. It's only been a little while since we last spoke where we went on our adventure looking for squirrels. Look outside already, it's pitch black. It's not even that late yet. Days are getting shorter, man. Days are getting shorter. Diesel, how you doing back here? How you doing? Let me get some more light on you. There you go, so the good people can see you. Oh, a little tail wag there. Oh, I saw that, man. So yeah, we are uh, close to the Michigan and Ohio border. We've got about two and a half hours till we get to the Canadian border yet. And then we've got another two hours after that to where we gotta be. Got a bit of driving to do today yet, so I'm not gonna stop here very long. I just wanted to quickly grab something to eat. Uh, Fill up my belly, not that it needs any more filling. It's already filling up quite well itself. I need to do some more running. Don't no, we diesel? Yeah, I try to include you in every in every shot, don't worry. Alright guys, I just want to touch base and say here we are. It's getting dark early already. So uh yeah, other than that. I'll probably talk to you in Canada. The next time you'll see me, I'll be in a faraway land. Who wants to talk to me? Come on, you're getting a shout out. Who, who's ding-a-linging me here? Here's ding, ding a ling ding Text message. That's Dad. Well, hello, Dad. 
dad touching base with me. I gotta give him a call. I haven't called him in a while. He called me yesterday. But the other day, no, it wasn't even yesterday. Give him a call. All right, guys. I'll see you on the other side. That is once again a wrap. My battery's just about to die on this camera too, so good timing. Thanks for joining me with this day, guys. Uh, we drove from Knoxville, Tennessee to London, Ontario. Just about 620 some miles, thousand some kilometers. Full day of driving, good day of driving, except it's been raining all day, it's still raining. Not very nice, Mother Nature. Well, tomorrow's a new day, let's hope the weather's a little better. We'll be heading to Guelph, Ontario, and then probably north to Sudbury, Ontario. That's what the plan seems to be. And then from there, we're headed west. We're going to go home. Uh, next weekend, I have a Thanksgiving dinner with my family because Canadian Thanksgiving is in October. It was already this past week, two weeks ago for you. But we're celebrating a little late because we're a family of truck drivers. That's the soonest we can all get together. So we're going to go and hang out there. And I also got to get some work done on the truck. Got to get my air conditioning fixed. Got to get my bunk heater fixed. Got to get it serviced. Lots to do, lots to do. There won't be any time to just sit around and do nothing. <laughs> Never any time to just sit around and do nothing. Being a grown up sucks. Diesel. What do you know? See you tomorrow, guys.